Next up, it's his goat's cheese emulsion. So you've just got the goat's cheese, gradually add olive oil into it. Goat's cheese might not be to everyone's taste, but Aidan thinks he's found a variety that even Matthew Fort won't take offence to. Aidan visited Wigton in Cumbria to meet the goats and women behind the award-winning cheeses of nearby Thornby Moor Dairy. First stop, the Armstrong Dairy, where owner Tracy's 180-strong herd produces the raw, unpasteurised milk. Come on, ladies. They seem to be quite relaxed, don't they? They seem to be fairly happy and goat eh? Yes, they are. They're relaxed and they're happy, yeah. and they're used to having people about them. Which is handy, as Aidan's going in to see their milking firsthand. How much milk do you get out of each goat, then? About two to two and a half litres every day. And how many times do you milk them a day? We milk them twice a day. We're about a litre and a half each okay. time we milk them. And Aidan's keen to try it. It's nice, it's really nice. Oh, please, you like it? It's quite strong in flavour. It does, yeah, it is, it is strong. Next, Aidan travelled four and a half miles to the dairy, where head cheesemaker Carolyn Fairbairn and her daughter transformed the milk into goat's cheese. So what have we got here, then? This is the curd. We're starting to separate. Okay. This is the stage we want to get to before we put it into the mould. This yeah. is an uncooked curd. Curd solids are produced by heating the goat's milk, then adding starter culture and rennet. This curds and whey mixture is then gently poured into moulds and left to drain overnight. But what makes a winning goat's cheese? Essentially the quality of the milk, what the animals have been fed on, how they're kept, how the milk is handled. So it's all down to experience then really, isn't it? Experience, skill and experience and good milk, yes. It's a simple process, but Aidan's feeling the pressure. I'm not doing very well here, am I? No, it's all right. No? Just, yeah, as long as you're prepared to buy them, they're fine. <laughs> Once in, the cheeses are turned to aid draining, and Aidan's keen to have a go under the watchful eye of head cheesemaker Carolyn. I don't know who's braver. <laughs> I didn't drop it. <laughs> Look at fear on your face. <laughs> Finally, the drained cheeses are taken out of their moulds and placed in salt water to preserve them. The fresh cheeses are then ready to sample. I can really taste the sweetness in the goat's cheese. Uh, the saltiness really, really works in there, and I think it's going to be fantastic with my broad bean soup. I'm convinced I'm going to turn Matthew Fort into a coach cheese lover. Thank you so much. I've had a great day. Thank you very, very much.